A stunning rally on Wall Street to start the week amid signs the coronavirus outbreak could be plateauing in some hot spots, with new deaths and cases in New York, Spain, and Italy giving investors hope the virus is peaking. Even with hopes rising, U.S. officials have braced the country for a painful week. Still, optimism prevailed, sparking a 1,600-point surge in the Dow, a gain of nearly 8 percent. The S&P 500 rose 7 percent, and the Nasdaq was up even more. But a rally of such magnitude, the biggest in roughly two weeks, is premature, says Greg Powell. He's CEO of Five Plan Partners. Uh, it's great to see the market react so positively to positive news. At the same time, though, we still have a lot to go through uh, over the next two weeks. And it's not just the hot spots, but throughout the country. And so, you know, on these strong rallies like this, this may be a time if, if people are, are selling on the, the upside and buying on the dips, uh, they may want to think about that, especially with such a short week. Shares of Carnival surged Monday after Saudi Arabia's sovereign wealth fund revealed it has taken an 8.2 percent stake in the world's biggest cruise ship operator. The stake, which was worth about $476 million at the highs of the day, instantly made the Saudi investment vehicle Carnival's second largest investor, according to Refinitiv Icon data. Carnival has had to raise cash and cut costs in an effort to ride out this turmoil. The stock rallied 20 percent. Another stock on the move, Wayfair. The online home furnishing company surged 40 percent. Despite all the doom and gloom out there, the company said it expects to meet or beat its first quarter sales forecast. Why? It says business is booming as customers flock online to shop with many physical outlets closed. Oil was largely left out of the buying. A meeting scheduled for Monday for OPEC Plus, which includes fighting producers Saudi Arabia and Russia, was postponed until Thursday. The delay sparking concern that the two sides are not close to securing a global agreement to cut production and stop a crash in prices. Crude oil finished lower in U.S. trade.